Yeah, I'm ready. I'm just here to watch. Okay, well. At least that was on video. She's fearless, honey. She wanted to do that one right away. I was like, wait. Which one? That one. <laughs> Obviously, I've been fishing all week, and now we're going to on a helicopter ride, and then we're gonna go check out the Iditarod dog sledding up on top of a glacier. This is exactly what Sarah wanted to do, and the kids wanted to do. You know what that means? Oh, That's what we're doing. Positive. Thank you so much. Yeah, I can hear you. I love you. I love you too. How cool is this? Very cool. Oh, I know. Absolutely amazing time. Aria, look at this. Look at Daddy. How cool, huh? Are you having so much fun? Uh, this is like one of the last cool things we're gonna get to do on this trip. And we're in the helicopter riding up to go sled dogging. Like this is gonna be so awesome. <laughs> See your craziest face. <laughs> Another crazy face. <laughs> Let's see mommy. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Boys? What are you doing? I'm just gonna tell y'all right now, when Sarah gets back with them dogs, you're gonna see her 1 million percent lit up. She is gonna be so excited. That was the coolest thing of my life. They like take off like crazy. I like, I wanted to go so fast. <laughs> but she needs her sunglasses because the snow from the dogs. Here, where are they? Bring them in the pocket. All right, get your sunglasses ready, okay? Okay. Did you have fun? Yeah. What did you do? We go down that hill. <laughs> really? Yeah. And it was bumpy. It was bumpy? Oh. Uh, how old are you, Emma? Uh, three. You're three years old. Okay, so what's your name, bro? Brandon. This is Brandon. He's going to take me on the snow machine, and I'm actually letting Sarah take my turns on the dog sled because she has wanted to do this all week. And if y'all know Sarah, she takes such good care of our home, of our children, of me, and I fished all week, so this is all about mama. Ready, here we go. Here we go. Sarah just had so much fun with the girls on the sled. And because this is the last like, trip of the day, 
now the dogs are getting fed. Brandon's gonna make them some dinner. And I'll show you what sled dogs eat for dinner. Raw beef. Look at that. Now what you giving them? Vitamins. So just like everything that the horses use, the dogs use. Ultra athlete formula, Dr. Tim, fusion dog food. Everybody in the world wants to know, was it worth it to come up here? Yes, yes, yes. Well, it was worth it because you let me have the full full rides, <laughs> but it would have been worth it either way. This is so cool. What was your favorite part about coming up here? Like the ride in, you got to see the beautiful mountains and the valleys, and then you get here and you got to see the excitement of the dogs, and then the kids loved it, and then there's a puppy, and you get to help out, and the whole thing. It's all cool. This is just a wonderful opportunity, wonderful experience. Thank God for chances and opportunities like this. Great thing about fishing out here with the with the slow pitch jig is you catch anything. I mean, only thing we've not caught so far on the jig is a king salmon, and they ate it literally just ate it going down. It's unbelievable. Look at them! Look at them all! They're all under the boat. Watch this! Look at that big one right there. Are you kidding me? Hold the phone. Just watch right here in the water. See the jig? Look at him, look at him coming up. Look at them all, right under it. Holy crap. That thing there, we got him right me. there. I wanna see if I can get us. Look at him, they're all on the surface. Are you stinking kidding me? Man, they're huge. Hold on, they what, what, hold on, watch this. Let's see how fast I can get one on the jig. Like, I almost caught myself. Watch this. Let's see if we can get them right up to the surface. Look at the action on that JYG jig. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Right on the surface. Look at this. I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> We're catching them on the... They're jumping out of the water for the jig. <laughs> These are bottom fish, okay? Just so y'all know. Look at them coming up. Oh, Jiminy Christmas, I can't keep it out of their mouth. Have y'all ever seen anything such as this? Oh, look at him. Just missed it. there all right so i got about a 200 pound liter crimped onto this jig i guess it's about 400 grams I'm trying to get it away from the boat because we got everybody's lines drifting right here i don't want to snag in anybody i'm just sending it down to the bottom all right there's bottom oh last fish i only just I only jigged it two or three times and just left it sick because I was talking. There he is. He came back for it. That, oh, oh, Austin Crackerton. 
This is a nice fish. Take your time now. Only 30 pound test line. Got a nice one here, Cap. This feels completely different. Hey, let's just talk about getting him to the boat, Cracker. <laughs> he ate different. He don't have any shakes to him. Honestly, he thumped it really hard, but... Yeah, that's... So, Oz, tell us about being a cameraman for deer meat for dinner. What do you think? I'm trying to focus on landing this fish right now. <laughs> Let me know if you guys want to keep this fish. All right? It's, it looks bigger. Man, he feels strong. Yeah. So you gotta let me know if you want to keep so I can get him as quick as I can before we lose him. Is that what a big one fights like? Yeah. The way your rod is fighting right now. Yeah. Kill him. Judging how quickly the last one got away, I'm thinking we should. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Let me know if you want to. Oh, go with the oh, oh, skate. What is that? Oh, no way! Can we get him up and take a picture of that thing? I told you it was different. Oh, He's, he decided to go back down to the bottom. I knew it felt different, but I couldn't have told you what it was. Get him up and I'll pull him right in through the gate. Okay. He's barely hooked though, I don't know. Dude, if we can get that joker. Wow. <laughs> Come over to my left so I can have the gate ready to open. Alright, here we go. Good fit over your right fit. Hold the gate for me. Oh my gosh, look at this thing! You got him hooked better than you think. Yeah? Okay. In the boat! What is that? That is called a skate. Dude, are you kidding me? Look at that! So there's no sting right back here. Not that I know of. <laughs> Not that I know of. Awesome, pick them up sideways. We're cooking them. <laughs> Dude, I've eaten stingray. This might be the best thing ever. <laughs> this thing is weird, bro. What is that? It is unlike anything I've ever seen. I don't know how to pick it up. Everything you, I yeah. grab is sharp. Grab some. Hey. What? Are you kidding? Look at this, though. You see that? I've never seen anything like that. They're like they're really sharp, bro. Crazy sharp barbs. No way. Dude, get out there in the sun so we can see this thing. Like wow. This. I've never seen nothing like that. If you'd have told me that's what was gonna eat the slow pitch jig, I <laughs> no way. And then Dang. you look there's like these barbs and oh man. So sharp. So sharp. Hey. We're about to have to take some pictures, y'all. This is pretty crazy. We caught this, Austin, not we, Austin caught this big old skate today. And I've heard of people eating skate, but I've never eaten skate. And it's not a sport fish. So we're gonna, we're gonna give it a go and see, um, see how it turns out. I mean, we, uh, We've cooked stingray. Stingray's delicious. Let me turn them away from me here. Look at that. These skates have like crazy spines on them. 
Look at that. Oh! Like these things have all these like, like hooks and daggers on them. Look at that. It looks like big old fat chunks of scallop. And uh, the best thing is, we can do it on the other side as well. I think Aust, I think it's gonna be good. Real good. Look at that. Look at that meat. That is just really, really, really cool. And you know what? I think it's gonna be delicious. Look at that. Now, what you think about that? Let's go cook that rascal. So, happy Father's Day, everybody. We're back here at the house, and I hope y'all have been enjoying this whole series from Alaska. Now, you probably wonder, why are you cooking so much in Florida when you could have cooked in Alaska? Well, when we were in Alaska, hey, are you, what's going on over here? She keeps touching it. She keeps touching it. Well, hey, no big deal. Truth of the matter is, we're just a normal family, just like everybody else. We were just trying to enjoy as much time as we could together. But we brought this home. Check this out. This is in a Ziploc bag. I wrapped it in paper towels to try to keep it as dry as possible. Girls, who's ready to eat some fish? Emma, what did you just say? Did you say yuck? I look at this. Too. See this look. This meat has like perfect little striations in it. And I started thinking, man, that might be the best fish fingers ever. While I finish up prepping our fish fingers. I want you to take just one minute and enjoy the wondrous beauty of Seward, Alaska. See how this pops open like that? Now, Emma, put, pour your pour this right in here. Pour it all in there. That's just seasoned flour. Look how much that is. That's just Ooh, from you're strong. one quarter of that. I mean, that was just like one little piece of a top wing. Now, we have all your seasoned flour in there. I'm actually gonna add a little bit of salt. And <laughs> she's gonna do it all by herself. I wanna do more salt because I never get to do one. Good job, Em. Are you gonna be a little cooker? You like to cook? No. I used to like to cook. Put this on top. Now, you just shake this all around, just can like I that. Shake then, a little? Yeah, of course you can. Let me just try to get it going real quick. Now hold it together, hold it together and shake it. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, that's not what I was worried about right there, right? 
up, down, up, down. <laughs> All right, you guys, this is fun. Who likes making food in the kitchen? Me! <laughs> How cool is that? And what and you're left with like are breaded fish fingers. Okay, pick them out, put them right in here. Right in the bowl. Oh yeah, yummy tummy. Look at that, just comes out perfect. Ooh. It's like a swing set. A swing set, are you? This is perfect, I mean, hey. how many of y'all, when we caught this, thought it would look like that? You take them, and when you lay them in, the, you lay them away from you like that. Do not touch that grease. Here you go, hold this one. Lay it in there. See how you let it go though? It's gonna splatter. Yeah, let daddy put these in here. I just don't, this oil, if this oil ever got on you, it would be so bad. It would be so incredibly hot. It would burn you bad. Like, would I have to go to the hot spill? Yes. It's like, it's like they're the perfect fish finger. So while that finishes cooking, I wanna show you something really cool. Friend of mine, Seth McGinn, makes this. See how I put the fish back in the batter there? This goes on here, this goes on the top. This is the magic of this. It actually collapses. Now we can just slide this right in the refrigerator. Mm, that looks good. Hop up here, Aria, you can see it. That's what we're looking for, honey pie. See how that looks? If you just walked up, you wouldn't know if you're looking at, at fish fingers, calamari, chicken. The question is, how's it gonna taste? You think it's gonna taste good? Yes. Yeah? Look at that. Did you guys have fun in Alaska? Yeah. yeah, so did I. I had an amazing time. And I would like to thank Chance Miller, the entire crew of Miller's Landing. Thank you so much for all of your hospitality, all of your hard work, and showing us a time of our lives. Todd, over to Oceanfront Inn, you have an unbelievable place. You keep it so clean, and you made us feel like we were part of your family. Thank you for that. If any of you would like to do a trip like we just did, Check out the links in the description below. You'll see everything. Now next summer, I think we're gonna be putting together like a whole week where we're gonna be there and we will let everybody know well in advance when we're gonna be there so that if you wanted to plan your trip so that you were in Seward the same time we were in Seward, that would be awesome because I think we could have like a huge cookout, huge get together, and it would be epic. Now let's taste some fish. All right, y'all, try a piece. I'm gonna use a little bit of tartar sauce. I want a mm. not too big piece. Because that one is hot. Mm. And that's hot. Is it good, Ann? Mm. Mm. It's good. That's real good. Mmm. I told you. <laughs> that is good, isn't it? It tastes it's like flavorful. Fish. Mm, it's really moist too. It I was is. expecting it to be more chewy. Mm, that's real good, huh? All right, you guys, Alaska was a dream vacation. We planned it super last minute, but if you guys have the opportunity or the chance on a whim to go to Alaska, go because you won't regret it. But that's all we have for you guys. Take care, God bless, and we are bye.